Glass ionomer cements continue to increase in popularity, offering many important benefits for clinicians and patients. Let's look more closely at what happens when we mix and place a glass ionomer cement. During mixing, the glass ionomer liquid coats and reacts with the glass particles, releasing strontium and aluminum ions. These ions react with a polyacid to form a strong matrix which surrounds the glass particles. Water is an essential part of this reaction, and the final set cement contains approximately 20% water. Fluoride ions are also released during mixing. However, these form no part of the cement structure, and due to the remaining water in the glass ionomer cement, are mobile and free to move throughout the matrix. Prior to placement of the glass ionomer, it is helpful to prepare the cavity surface by applying a polyacrylic acid conditioner. After 10 seconds, the conditioner is washed off, removing the smear layer and surface debris. Excess water is then removed without over drying the surface. Using a conditioner improves adhesion in three ways. It creates a clean bonding surface. It improves the chemical bonding potential of the glass ionomer cement and it alters the surface energy of the tooth so that the cement can wet and adapt the cavity more effectively. It is essential that the glass ionomer is placed while it has a glossy surface. The gloss is free polyacid, which is able to penetrate the cavity surfaces to form a strong, hydrolytically stable chemical bond to calcium ions within the dentin and enamel. In addition to chemical adhesion to calcium in the tooth, a fusion bonding process takes place as well. Calcium and phosphate ions from the polyacid-treated dentin and enamel and strontium and fluoride ions from the unset glass ionomer intermix and precipitate, forming an interface called the interdiffusion zone. This zone is stronger and more acid-resistant than either the glass ionomer or the tooth. The combination of the interdiffusion zone and the chemical bonding provides the basis for a strong, stable adhesive interface and creates a bacteria-proof seal for the cavity, best described as a chemically fused seal. The initial penetration of strontium and fluoride ions into the tooth helps remineralize and harden any demineralized dentin, which is covered by glass ionomer cement. Essential to the success of this technique is strontium's ability to substitute calcium as an appetite-forming ion, and the ability of the glass ionomer cement to provide a bacteria-proof seal. Tooth surfaces surrounding or adjacent to the glass ionomer cement benefit from an initial burst of fluoride. This creates a peripheral zone containing increased levels of fluoroapatite. Glass ionomer cements, therefore, create zones of protection for surrounding tooth surfaces. Glass ionomer cements mature over time. However, their final strength is further enhanced by exposure to saliva after their initial setting reaction. Calcium and phosphate ions from saliva are able to penetrate into the set glass ionomer matrix, and this uptake further hardens the cement structure. Glass ionomer cements provide exceptional stability of the adhesive interface over time. Many external factors will challenge the integrity of bonded surfaces. For example, pulpal fluid, transmitted occlusal stresses, and thermal expansion contraction stresses. Potentially most challenging to the integrity of a bonded interface is pulpal fluid. Fortunately, glass ionomer cements are unchallenged by fluid pressure from the pulp. In fact, pulpal fluid benefits the glass ionomer over time by strengthening the cement adjacent to the dentin surface. This is especially important now that we understand the negative impact positive fluid movement has on resin adhesives over time. The glass ionomer reaction is a complex one and many benefits are obtained. A strong chemically fused seal, fluoride release, internal remineralization, and good long-term stability of the glass ionomer tooth interface. The many benefits offered by glass ionomer technologies have led to the development of low-viscosity cements which are applied to tooth surfaces like a varnish, offering a long-term protective coating for surfaces at risk.
Of special focus is the protection of exposed enamel surfaces on erupting first and second permanent molars. These teeth are at their highest risk of caries during the 12 to 24 month period of eruption. This procedure, often undertaken in situations where moisture control is difficult, is called fissure protection. In recent history, our understanding of the benefits glass ionomer cements offer has broadened. At the same time, GC Corporation has further developed the range and capabilities of cement technologies in the knowledge that glass ionomer cement remains the best adhesive interface option for the tooth.